Hi guys, welcome back to Tactic Tutorial. Today we're going to talk about how to design app in Figma. Figma tutorial for beginners, step by step guide. It's a step by step guide to follow easily, so don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Let's dive right in. Now, as you can see right now, I am currently at the home page of Figma. And to get started, all you need to do is to click on design file over here on the top right. So if you select the design file, we will be able to begin and start with a black template with our design. So uh, let's go and create our first design, an empty design for now so that we can get started with our tutorial. Now, I'm going to show you and explain to you the basic functions and some shortcuts as well if you want so that we can show you how you will be able to use Figma to create your own application for your mobile phone. Now, this method works for any type of application, whether it's for Apple or whether it's for Android, since the design is typically the same. It just depends on the back end part on whether it's going to be an Apple or a Android application, but this is how we will be able to begin with our design. So let's wait for our Figma to set up and get started so that we can show you how to begin with our output. Okay, so here we go. This is our editing page. This is where we will begin. The first thing you're going to have to do is click on the letter F on your keyboard. If you press that, you will be able to create a frame. And if you drag your screen or if you drag your cursor on your screen, you will be able to create a frame. Now the frame is where your design will be. You could set this frame as the screen of your phone and anything inside this will be the design. You can't really put a design on a block page, you need a bond paper or let's say you need a paper to put the thing that you want to print on. And the frame asks us the bond paper or the paper that you will print your item on. So if you press that, if you press F, you will be able to have a paper to put on your different content. Now, if you notice when you press F, you will be able to see over here on the right side some different designs. So there are some preset sizes already for different types of output. We have one for phone, tablet, desktop, presentation, watch, paper, social media, Figma community and archive over here. And since what we're making is an application, what we're going to go with is the phone of course. And you have here your typical iPhone sizing and then you have your Android small or Android large. Now, it depends on what type of your, you're making since they are or they have some minor differences. You could choose the one that you are targeting. So let's say we could go with Android for now, Android large, because this is the type of canvas people typically use. And we have our canvas over here. So anything you put in this canvas will now be your design. Now, also your design will depend on how you would like your app to be presented and the purpose of your app. Whether it's like a social media app like Facebook, Instagram, or TikTok, of course, the design should be very unique. So before we actually create any type of design, let me show you the different basic things that you could utilize to build your design. Aside from being able to upload photos or even elements, from other factors or other platforms like Paticon, if you want to use icons, you could get them from Flaticon. You will be able to upload them by dragging it simply on your page over here and the image will be going to appear on your canvas. For the different shape you have here on the left side, you have your rectangle, line, eclipse, polygon, star, and this place image over here. It's very simple, right? But there are a lot of things you could do with this simple outputs. There's a lot of different design that you could create and amazing outputs that you are capable of producing with just those simple tools. For example, since this is our page over here, we could create a very simple design. Over here on the right side, by the way, this is like the design and like colors, all of those stuff. You have your frame, auto layout, layout grid, layers, fill, which is like the color. You can see here, you can change it. And you have your stroke effects and export so let's create our background for now let's go with a black background then i'll show you how you could utilize this basic tools basic shapes to create a very pretty decent output so for example we could do this 
Uh, make sure it's inside your frame by dragging it inside as you can see here and it will uh, be placed inside then you could put it on the, to the right there we go this is purely for design then you can click on alt to quickly duplicate the element then we could enlarge it up there we go we could change the color let's go with a color red then you could add a stroke if you want. A stroke is basically like a border or we could add an effect. There are different types of effect. We have your blur, background blur, inner shadow, and then you could edit the, uh, the way the shadow would appear. As you can see here, you could change the color of the shadow. Uh, since it's already a black background, we could increase the, uh, the, we could change the shadow into white instead. And you could drag this over here, the X and Y, to change the position of the shadow. And you have that. Then you can click on the color as well, by the way. Uh, let's select both of them. You can click on the shadow or the boxes. You can click on the fill again. And you can change it to a gradient style as well. You can see. Then you can change the color or the design of your color of the gradient as you can see depending on your preferences of course you will be able to have like a very simple design for you to work with something like that uh, let's actually remove the shadow since it's not really ideal for this type but as you can see we will be able to produce a very simple uh, combination of styles with just using the very simple outputs over here uh, you could utilize the rectangle again let's put it over here you could act or use this as like the navigation bar. Let's actually use this as like the a big part of the design instead. You can enlarge this. Make it like that. And uh, let's say that's the background for now. Then we have this as our nav bar. And you could change the transparency to lower a bit by dragging across this part over here below the colors. And we could set the color to a white color instead, I guess. And we could make it a bit whiter. There we go. Then this could be like the navigation bar for you guys. Then you could add text by clicking on this letter T over here. You could put it over here. Then you could do whatever text that you want. You will be able to change the font by clicking on this right side over here. This enter. By clicking this, you will be able to see all the different fonts available for you. You have your font sizes. The typical font or text formatting that you could change then you could do the fill and effects at the same time but anyway we have that you could utilize the eclipse over here and have some circles for you to have let's change our circles to red then let's add some widgets into it let's turn this into black there we go something like that and we could exit this let's enlarge in this one a bit and we can duplicate this. This can act like a chat head for you guys if you want. This depends on the style of your design, of course, or the type of your app that you're trying to create. There you go. We have something similar like that. Then you can duplicate this as well. There you go. Then you can also add another square in the middle. Uh, let's put it like that. And you could center it by clicking on the center option over here on the right side. You are like uh, left aligned, right aligned, or we could go to the top or the middle. We're going with the middle. And as you can see, you could also do something called like a curvature. This is currently sharp, so you could turn this into a curvy part. There we go. Now we have a curve uh, box that we have over here. You can change this to white. There we go. Then extend it a bit. There you go. Then, if you want to create buttons, it's the same process. Uh, you can create a square over here, uh, change the color of the button, then make it curvy. There we go. Uh, position it the way you want to or where you want to. Then, you could add text on top of it. Then, uh, you could say a button. Uh, let's make sure that it is centered. Then, what you could do is you could uh, select this and your text together. And you could click on group selection or frame selection. Then you could group them and it will be one element as you can see here. It will be together. There we go. Then you could put on the different things. You could upload photos if you want. And 
the way you can design it depends on your creativity as well of course the way i am presenting it it's a bit uh, messy but you get the idea on how you could interact or make the different elements interact with each other so we drag this again by using the l you have like a content on top of this if you want there you go very simple and you could easily build an amazing output by combining this very simple uh, features that you have over here. And you could also utilize different photo types. As you can see here, you could interact or create an interaction between one another. But we're not going to focus on that since this is for the basics. And uh, this is, I'm assuming, you're just going to want to create a static design. And by utilizing those different elements that you have here, you will be able to create a very simple static design over here. You can also use different plugins if you want. There are different plugins that you could utilize in Figma. And you can also export it if you want. Since you're a beginner, let's say your teacher is asking you to produce or create a design of an application. Let's say you created it. Now you want to download it. How will you download the entire thing? Simply click on your frame, scroll down, click on export, click on the plus. Then you will be able to export as a PNG, JPEG, SVG, or PDF. Then simply click on export. And you will be able to export it as you can see here on the top right. And that's basically it. That is how you will be able to create a design for your application. Although my example over here is a bit messy and not that great. You understand or you get the idea on how you will be able to create a very good outputs with those type of elements. And I have actually created other types of outputs before to the mobile. For example, you have this. This is like a demonstration of how you could create a prototype and make different components work together. And you will be able to do this as well if you want. As you can see, we have this. If you select another part, it will change to another photo. Similarly with that. There we go. You will be able to do this with Figma and the prototypes. Although it's not perfect, of course, it's very funky. But once you are able to learn more about Figma, you will be able to create amazing outputs. So that's basically it, guys. If you enjoyed this video, consider leaving a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.